Tuesday. Sorry, guys. I just got out of the shower because I think from pole walking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's, you're going to have to come in a little more. Okay. Hey, HCG family. Miss HCG girl here and HCG charm. And we're going to show you how to make a chocolate cheesecake, but we're going to start with the chocolate crust. Miss HCG girl style, okay? And this is not difficult at all. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to get a stick of butter. Stick of butter. And you're going to need six tablespoons off of this, okay? So it comes eight tablespoons. So go ahead and do six. And what I'm going to do is I sort of cheat a little bit. I stick this in a measuring cup. And then I stick the measuring cup on my stove on number three. I'm going to show you. Oh, I was going to say, do you want me to do that? See, I put it on the stove. I have an electric stove on number three. Excuse my messy kitchen. <laughs> While that's melting, we're going to put some things in a bowl, okay? An HCG charm is here to help me. All right, here, charm. First thing first is we need three tablespoons of coconut oil, and this Ooh. is sort of messy. So get She's your. gonna get me to do it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Three tablespoons of coconut oil, and we're using organic Swanson. One of these. This is pre-melted because it's warm. Yeah, if during the winter time or even it just this just happened recently um, that it melted. It was it comes like solid most of the time during the winter time here. So uh, here's the organic virgin coconut oil. And the next thing, since our little tablespoon thing is wet, <laughs> we're gonna put uh, we're waiting on our coconut oil to melt, which it should melt pretty quickly. Uh, we need six, wait a minute, I want to do, I wanna do the wet, wet stuff. Um, we're going to do, where's the rest of the stuff here? Okay. One tablespoon of sugar-free French vanilla Da Vinci. Which she has me addicted to this stuff That now. stuff you can get at <laughs> Sam's the cheapest. You can find it other places. If you can't find this flavoring, you can use Terrani. You can get that at Walmart. So uh, anyway, it's it's zero calories, you guys. I don't count the alcohol carbs in that. It's Splenda. What did you say? One. One tablespoon. And then we're gonna use one egg. All the wet items we're gonna put in here. And look, she even has the brown organic egg. She's being so good. Yeah, yeah, cage free. I buy them at Sam's. They came on sale recently. So. Um, you know me, sale. Sale! <laughs> okay, let's see if this is melted. It's not melted yet. Let's go. Let's go to town, cup. So in the meantime, i tell you what, we're going to put the dry ingredients in another bowl. In the meantime, let's talk about the weather. <laughs> okay, in the meantime, we're going to do dry ingredients in another bowl. Okay, charm. We need six tablespoons of cocoa, and what I do is I do half dark and half light. Well, let's get a clean tablespoon. I just tablespoon. say that's all. Here we go. Thank you. Let's do six of the unsweetened regular, and we're going to do, I mean, three of that one and three of this one, the special dark. And it does make a difference to use dark in your recipes. I promise you. Trust me, okay? So you don't sift this? No. Okay. No. Because it's going in a crust. So it doesn't matter. No. Yeah, and like if you're making your mud cakes or something, I sift it because otherwise it gets kind of bitter. Okay. And I save this out because we're going to be making the cheesecake, people. Which is the bomb. <laughs> yeah. I had some last night. It's and game, though. Because <laughs> I had it, what, at 12 o'clock at night? She, that isn't why she gets it. She's been traveling, exercising. This lady has a metabolism that won't quit. No. She might say mine is more. I've never seen anybody with so much energy in my life. <laughs> okay. Now, you guys, what I want you to get is some Golden Mill Flax. You're going to need uh, a fourth of a cup. Right here is a fourth of a cup. And she's Miss Betty Homemaker. She actually grinds her own. Look at this, you guys. 
I wish I had the time well, to Well, no. What it is is my neighbor got me involved in a co-op, and once a year I buy like 25 pounds, and I separate it. Let me show you. This is like awesome. I had it in Into my Into these bags like this. This is some golden milk flax. And what I do is I put it in my Vitamixer or high power blender. I have a dry container. And I, I like grind probably about four cups at a time because I use this every day, two to three times a day. You should use flax. It is a great fiber additive to your uh, diet and it's really healthy for you. There's but, like good oils. Sorry. Go ahead. But add it in slow because the fiber content is high. So. You know, start with one tablespoon and go to two per day because otherwise you might have a little bit too much TMI. Okay, I learned you that. that already. Yeah, one. Okay, one fourth. That was it. And then the coconut flour, we're going to use an eighth. So put two tablespoons of that. Two tablespoons equals an eighth if you didn't know that. Mm, I love the smell of this stuff. Yes, yeah, <laughs> and this is the Coconut Secret brand coconut flour. If you buy this, you want to keep it in some kind of container in your refrigerator so it doesn't go bad. So we reuse things. I do the same thing. Yes, I'm just using old containers. And then you can just put, cook, you can just write what it is on the... Side. Actually, she has a great tip. Oh, yeah, I forgot about What I do is I use these containers a lot, too, but I take the barcode. If you use my fitness pal, you can use your phone and just scan the barcodes on things, and it goes right into your diet or your di diary. So I put, I tape the barcode on here, so that way I can just scan it. So my so food. smart. <laughs> <laughs> and then we need, this is the almond flour, you're going to need, now mine I bought in bulk from Digestive Wellness, and as you can see I keep it frozen in the, fr in the freezer, it's okay, and um, I put only a certain amount in the refrigerator. So what we're going to use, and, and I have bought the wider looking almond flour, this one looks more like almond meal. But basically, it doesn't matter. Almond meal, almond flour, you're going to need three-fourths of a cup. So we need three of those in here. I'm going to check on the butter. It's almost melted. And you can melt your butter in the microwave. I'm just choosing to stay away from the microwave as much as possible. And in the meantime, by the way, folks, because we are making cheesecake, Go get you some cream cheese. This should be sitting out for a couple of hours before you make the cheesecake. You want it really soft. And this, I thought it Sam. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's boiling. <laughs> okay, we're going to get this off. Uh, like Alright. Our butter is boiled. <laughs> anyway, uh, I bought this at Sam's for like six bucks or five bucks, and it's three pounds of cream cheese. So it's been sitting out this morning because we want it warmed up for our cheesecake here in a minute. So, now, you don't want to add hot butter to an egg because you know what's going to happen? It's going to cook the egg. So, um, in the meantime, those are, oh, one more, one more dry ingredient and it's the Splenda, okay? And I always add the Splenda to the butter mixture, not to the uh, dry flours, okay? So let me see how hot this is. Whoa! Did it's you see really, that? Yeah, it just it just went right on her. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know. You stir real fast because then it won't cook the egg if we do this. Let's put the Splenda in there. We need one cup, and I'm just using the store brand of Splenda. Splenda is super low, if y'all don't know, and it's zero calories. And we're gonna use one cup of Splenda in our crust because we want our crust sweet. All right. So she's put it in there, and now while she's stirring fast, I'm going to add some butter. And this is sort of like Ina, that lady on Food Network, you know who I'm talking about? Um, what is her name? She's from up north. Anyway, uh, Contessa, Barefoot Contessa, that's her name on Food Network. Oh, look how pretty this looks. I don't know if you can see this, but this is beautiful. So. Now, since she has all that together, we have the butter, we have the flavorings, we're going to add the dry mixture, and you can just stir it around before we put it in there. It's going to be a crust for this huge cheesecake. And this particular pan, I didn't measure it, this is my biggest cheesecake pan I could find. I have three of these, and these are the kind that they come off on the sides, the spring form, and I've already lined it with parchment paper, okay? So, uh, right now... I'm just going to mix this little dry mixture up a little bit. Now, of course, 
If it was Charm's house, we would sift it, right, Charm? <laughs> Only because I don't like dark chocolate at all. I only like milk chocolate. Smell it though. So, so I always sift the chocolate because that's what a lot of times gives it that bitter taste. Is if well, it, you're not gonna be bitter here. I promise. Oh, I, it wasn't. <laughs> okay, she already had this. Yeah. So, so what we're gonna do is add this in, and then I'm gonna go get some rubber gloves. I'm gonna show you what I do. So should I lick it while she's gone? <laughs> Oh, wait, it's taping. I can't lick it. I'll get caught. Alright. Alright. Is it all mixed? Wow. Okay, so what we're going to do is have her put on some gloves, and I'm going to put on some gloves. Are you allergic to anything, by the way? No. Latex or no. whatever? These are non latex. Remember my feels? Okay. <laughs> I'm putting these things on all day. It's smelling plasticky burning. I wonder what it is. We're going to take it out like this. So you can tell I don't bake that much. <laughs> well, I do do a lot of experimenting in the kitchen. And those who are on my fitness pal know because when the mad cooking woman shows up, I normally gain a few pounds the next day. Because <laughs> I'm sampling everything in my kitchen. I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to add this, add that. Um, <clears throat> and if most of you don't know, my grandmother was a, sh a cook at the school when I grew up. And I get that from her. She loved to cook. And, um, of course, I'm Cajun. But cheesecake has nothing to do with Cajun. <laughs> it's sort of like New Yorkish. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we're going to put that to the side. And we're going to just make sure, as you can see, this sort of looks like mud. But it's coming to, like, almost where it forms a, boil, a, a ball. <laughs> <laughs> that comes from my Cajun heritage, too. Blame it on that. <laughs> um... Anyway, you can see it looks just like a ball, okay? So uh, we're going to put this ball in here, and I am going to have Charm smash it down. And if you don't want to touch this with your hands, you can use your little spatula. And this is sort of slick because, guess why? Butter, folks, butter, like Paula Deen. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way so y'all can see. Oops, see what she's doing here. Okay, let me zoom in on you. Ah. Okay, can y'all see what she's doing? She's pressing it down to the edges. Alright? It's kind of harder with the uh, little parchment paper in here, but you can do it. We yeah, just do. make sure it's sort of even in there. Yeah, that's And then we're going to bake this. Your oven should have been set at 400 degrees. And we're going to bake it around 13 to 15 minutes. And all we want, we don't really want it that cooked. Uh, we want it to where it sets up so when we pour the cheesecake on it, it's ready to go in with the cheesecake. It's basically pre-cooking the crust. So are we ready? We are ready. Okay, let's stick that. She's taking off her gloves in the oven. Go ahead and stick okay. it in here, and I've got her going in. There we and go. And put the timer on. Do timer. I don't know how to work for okay. oven. <laughs> That's okay. Timer. And we're going to do 13 minutes, and we're going to check it at 13 minutes. All right. Got that, folks? All right. We'll be back. Beautiful. Okay, now you see it's how the foam on top, that's from the butter and it's leaking on the floor. Put it on the glass up here. And I let it in for 15 minutes. And it's pretty much, uh, I'm going to show you here. Show you here. Um, it is very crusty and the egg raises it. Now it's going to sit here and cool down for the next. Probably 10 to 20 minutes while me and Charm make hey guys, cheesecake. We're making Miss HCG Girls chocolate cheesecake, and Charm is here to help me. HCG Charm, Beth. <laughs> she traveled all the way to Tennessee to see me. From this she did. To eat my cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> and it was good. And today is July 4th, even though we don't have our flag shirts on. We will. 
We're so, God bless America, okay? We're so thankful to live in this nation and have the freedom to do such things. So right now, I'm going to have the recipe and the info and at the end, but right now she's going to help me and we're going to mix up some cheesecake. So the first thing I want you to do is go get you six eggs and you should, you should have been setting out your cheese, by the way, your eggs and your cream cheese. I had six that were setting out for over an hour and I have my cream cheese that's been setting out for a few hours because you want it softened. Uh, I use Philadelphia Original Cream Cheese. Don't use the fat for eats. It's not going to work as well. But anyway, six eggs, and she's going to start by beating them for me. Like, beat them. Beat it, beat it, beat it. <laughs> Where's that music Mama yeah. Clock pays when she makes her Mama Clock cookies? <laughs> beat it. <laughs> okay, and you can put it higher. It's a little digital thing. Just go higher, higher, higher. And in the meantime, well, you don't have more hands, but if you had helpers in the kitchen, you could uh, be getting out some of this other stuff. But we have already done a lot of the other stuff. So, uh, she's going to just beat these eggs really good. We don't want them too fluffy because we don't want a lot of air in our cheesecake, okay? Um, the next thing I'm going to start adding is we're going to add our cream cheese in because we have to soften this cream cheese. And um, I'm going to cut it. This is three eight-ounce blocks or a pound and a half of cream cheese, okay? Now, you can use more cream cheese. Uh, okay, this is really a lot of cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how messy we can be in the kitchen. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it to mush. Mush! Yeah, she's mushing it down. You want to soften your cream cheese as Whoa. soft as possible. Okay, we're going to see some of this in the trash next to you. And I'm going to wash my hands. i got cream cheese on. Okay, it's starting to blend Blend together now. Right. You want to get it to where it's just blended together. You really, if you know, you probably watched other cheesecake videos if you stumbled on mine today. I don't have a KitchenAid uh, or a big high-powered uh, mixer. Yeah, you do. Well, I have a... Yeah, that's true. But you don't want to put a lot of air in this. You just want to get it to where it's very creamy and it, there's no lumps left. And um, in the meantime, while she's doing that, get you some heavy whipping cream. Now, I'm using Land of Lakes. I think Great Value makes a brand. You need three-fourths of a cup of whipping cream. And I, since it's liquid, we're going to add this to what Charm is doing right now. Three-fourths a cup of heavy whipping cream. There's 50 calories per tablespoon of whipping cream. And if you're doing a fat fast day on a P3 correction day, you want to eat this. <laughs> eat, you know, or if you're loading... I mean, didn't you load on just one cheesecake? I did. I have eaten a whole cheesecake on my load days. And you can lose on your load days uh, on the HCG protocol if uh, if you do it right, okay? It's where you keep your fat extremely higher than your carbs. And you need to be low carb that day. You can have high protein, too. But you want to keep your carbs pretty low. And uh, this recipe is very low carb. You, so I'm sorry. You, I think you said above 65% you try? I have actually okay. lost on a fat fast day down to 64%, I think, or 63% before of the calories of the day. Okay. And so uh, you definitely want to keep your eye on that. Most people eat high fat diets. Even if you're eating a lot of protein, it'll come out that you're eating more fat throughout the day. I don't know why that is, but that's our American diet for you. So I'm going to scrape down the sides, and that's about, that looks really good. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it looks awesome and sort of like a cake batter, but thinner, okay? And we just don't want too many lumps, and we've got more things to add in here. So go ahead and turn it off. Okay, now, the next thing I want you to do, and we're trying to do this in, or, what, no, don't, don't put it out. <laughs> we're going to, um, I want you to get some salted almond butter, creamy, and this has no sugar. All it is is almonds and salt, okay? We're going to use a fourth of a cup of that in here. Go ahead and mix it. Let me, oh, I should have saved that other thing, okay. We're going to put this in here, turn it on, 
We're going to mix it. Okay, that's the almond butter. And then I want you to get Smucker's Natural Peanut Butter. There's no sugar added. All of it is peanut butter and a little bit of salt. We're going to use a fourth of a cup of it. Okay? You're like, peanut butter? I thought we were making chocolate cheesecake. We are. But anybody who knows me by now knows how much I like my nuts. So <laughs> it's going to be sort of like Miss HPG Girl's version of Reese's Cheesecake. But we're go. not really Reese's. I'm not stealing anything from her. She's, it's just my take on chocolate peanut butter cheesecake. But well, let's just call this chocolate cheesecake. You can leave the nut butter out if you want. But it's changing the texture a little yeah. bit. And it's a little um, thicker. It's getting thicker, as you can see. And you can see little tiny pieces of the nut in there. Now, while she's doing that, I'm going to add, oh, one more liquidy thing. This is three-fourths a cup of sour cream. Yes, folks. And this is full-fat sour cream. So three-fourths a cup, I want you to add that in there. And this is going to give it, like, a lot of flavor. It brings out the flavor in everything. Like I said, if you don't like some of these items in your cheesecake, just leave it out and try it without any of these items. I'm going to preface this right now. Me and Charm made so much good stuff, we ran out of some Splenda. So all I have is two cups of Splenda, but my recipe calls for three cups of Splenda or three cups of powdered Truvia or whatever in this cheesecake. So I'm going to put the two cups I have in there right now, and I have one cup of powdered Truvia. And as you can tell, it's changing the texture to our cheesecake. And I am using the largest cheesecake right. oh. interruption. We're going to add the one cup of powdered trivia now into this. And if you don't know how to powder trivia, I do it in my Vitamixer. Um, I have a dry container, and I put the whole container of trivia that you get from the store. It's like granulated sugar-free substitute. I put it in here and I grind it on high on my Vitamix it takes less than a minute. And it powders it into the most powdery sugar you've ever seen. And it's sugar-free. So, now we have all that in there. And the next thing we're going to add is one scoop of vanilla whey protein. That's right, folks. I said vanilla whey protein. We're going to up the protein in our recipe. And I use the Walmart brand of the Super Body Fortress or whatever.
we're both addicted to coffee. That's why we drink coffee. Yeah, we drink coffee all day long. <laughs> <laughs> we're right. caffeine addicts. Yeah. And then uh, that's it for the cheesecake. So she's going to mix all this together. It's actually starting to look thicker than a cake batter at this point. If you can see this. And uh, let me move this out the way. Oh, let me I just splash myself. Okay. I don't know if I can raise it up a little bit. I've got it. And we're going to scrape the sides too. I'm going to help her here. Thank you. See, you don't need one of those fancy mixers. Not when you have high no. powered. HPG girl. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> HPG charm. Yeah, she's on crack. No. <laughs> she's hyper. I need like half of her energy. Okay. Yeah, so you're like very energetic. She wakes up very early in the morning. She is like on the go. <laughs> that looks really good. That's yeah, enough. Nice. Okay, so lower it down. Start lowering it. Got it? Okay, let it come out a little. Yeah. We don't want it all over the place. I already got it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, let it drip here. Let it sit on the side of the counter and drip in here. So what we're going to do next, I know it's been loud with the mixer on, but that's what this cake is all about, folks. And a lot of people don't believe in mixing that long. So, you know, the air bubbles, it could cause the cake to crack, and that's okay. <laughs> let me back up here. All right, uh, we're going to pour it in our little pan, okay? So, we're going to back up and pour it. Wait, no, we're going to bring the pan over here, honey. There we go. Okay, that's better. Let's see here. I'm going to wipe all the goodness off of this. Wipe it? Mm -hmm. Lick With it. With our fingers, like no, this. No, you got to lick them. Oh, there's egg in there. <laughs> we <laughs> lick them. Okay. <laughs> She licks And my them. kids lick them. As soon as I get done with the recipe, that's the first thing they're running in to lick. Them. Well, here, lick all you want. That's one. <laughs> I don't lick because there's raw egg. And I have a sore throat from doing everything I've been doing with charm in the past few days. <laughs> and, uh, See, I'm licking it. <laughs> it's sort of like petting the thing yesterday. She wanted me to pet a snake at the rainforest place. Mm. Okay. Uh, all right. Washing my hands. Alright. Now, this is very hard to do. Let me see if I have y'all in here. Alright. Like that. And I'm going to pour, she's going to scoop out, or I'm going to hold it. You're going to hold this. And as you can see, my crust sort of, as it dried, it broke a little bit. It's okay because the cheesecake is going to fill in that crack. It's all good. Yeah. That's, there's, so I love that saying. I don't know if you guys ever heard that saying. That's something new to me. I guess I'm from Michigan and they're from Tennessee, so I, it might be a saying around here. My husband says it. He has always said it, even before I ever heard I anybody love, else say it. I love that saying. It's, it, they just, it's, he's always, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. He says that all the time. I, I think love it's it. to convince himself, even in the bad times. <laughs> it's, it's all, all good. good. <laughs> but we want to scrape all the sides, get all the goodness off, because there's nut butter and there's everything in here. And as you can see, you don't have to put any baking powder or anything like that in this. This cake, it's, it could possibly rise in the beginning because of all the air bubbles, but it's going to go back down. And um, on this, you want to set your oven to like 400 or 425, okay? And um, you want to get the rest out or is it Yeah, I can do it like this. See? Yeah. If my son was here, he'd be licking the bowl. I wouldn't let him. <laughs> if he was my son, sorry. <laughs> it's rotten. <laughs> you know what? Maybe that's why I'm brain damaged. Okay. No. That's it. That's it. She's brain damaged because she ate raw eggs. <laughs> okay, we're going to put as much as this in here. And this came to almost a fourth of an inch from the top. And that's dangerously high, folks. But I'm going to put a pan underneath this, and uh, we're going to set it on a pan. We want all the goodness out of this. And then we're going to let Charm eat the raw egg. Yep. Ugh. 
<laughs> I can't believe your mommy didn't let you do that. <laughs> I'm not saying I didn't ever eat it. After finding out you didn't get a sickness from it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is sort of let it sit on the floor just a little bit and pop a few air bubbles out of this. And in the meantime, I'm going to grab a cookie sheet and I'm going to set this in the middle of a cookie sheet at 400 degrees. We're going to sit in the oven. I'm going to let, I don't know if you should put it or I should put it. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. Okay, you carry it. I'm going to, I'm going to open the oven and then I'm going to show them. Okay. Go ahead. Ready? We're going to put this in a 400 degree oven for 15 minutes, okay? We just want it to like rise really quick. Woohoo! And then we're going to turn it down. After 15 minutes, you're going to turn it down to uh, 325, 325, and you're going to leave it in the oven for about an hour and 15 minutes, okay? And then when you're done, open. Yes, when you're done with that whole process, you leave it in the oven. Okay, we're going to leave it in there for three or four hours after it's finished. It's going to cool, and it's going to separate from the sides, and it's going to uh, be in there. It's going to be perfect before you put it in the fridge. It's going to cool down in the oven slowly. It will prevent most cracks. Now, I have watched, um, I'll just say this, I have watched a lot of videos, and almost every person I watch, their cheesecake cracks. So most people make a topping, and Charm suggested a topping, but I've never used it. I'm open to that, but we're going to make a different kind of topping. You're going to like my topping. <laughs> it's chocolate. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys okay, later. Okay, we're ready for the deliciousness. Of we're just, we want to show you that we have turned off the oven. It, it took an hour and 15 minutes on 325. After we did, first we did 400 for 15 minutes, then 325 degrees for an hour and 15 minutes and now we're going to let it go down. It's cracked really bad. Look, there was an earthquake. <laughs> and uh, and it. by the time we get home, we're going to film it one more time. You can close it now. We're going to leave it in the oven like this just to go down uh, while we're going on a whitewater rafting tour, Yay! aren't we? Yay! And we'll be back after a while. And now we've got our all-American shirts on. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to show you what it looks like when we get back. Yes.